Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a rather wet Wednesday morning. It's hump day. It's crazy as heck. I come out here and I could hear the coyotes out there in the field. I mean, they literally sound like they're inside the fence. But I'm saying I can't see them anywhere. But it's weird this in the daylight they're usually pretty quiet i mean not always but generally sparky the garbage collector <laughs> it's almost daily we pull some weird thing that he's drug up from somewhere he's such a goofy mr sparky he's the most lovable dog on the planet look at that face how could you not love the old sparky Buddy, you're always so like slow and sloth like. Look at that face. That's the face of old Sparky. <laughs> yeah, old Sparky. I know. Garbage collecting, dead gum dog. I have no idea. Scary <laughs> dog. Let's head on south, Mama. All right, sounds good. All right. I've decided I like the wind and sunny skies better than I do the cold wet. <laughs> Plus, the driving's a lot nicer. Yeah, you can see better. Yeah. Those days are coming. Yep. Well, Mama, it's hump day. Yep, we're halfway there. Yep, we're halfway to the end. All right. Of this week, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have yourself a wonderful day up there in the parts department. You too. You take care. <laughs> All I'll right. See I'll see you in the passes. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Bye. Man, that XR just looks smoking hot sitting there like that. He's looking good. It's not raining at the moment. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that. It'll uh, clear up. Yeah, she's just got an angry look to her sitting there. That menacing fairing out the front there. That just looks really good. Amazing the parts you gotta put on these things. 2020 F850 GSA. That's the ice gray exclusive. If they call it now, that's not ice gray. I forget what they call that gray. That's cool, man. 21 inch front wheel. So that thing hasn't moved since last night. This one did the update on it, but <laughs> still drizzling out there. But it's a real light drizzle. I'm gonna at least get it upstairs and top it off with gas. In case I get that chance to ride it. Keep your fingers crossed. I sure am. Hot <laughs> dang. I figured it ain't pouring at the moment. Whatever little splashies I get on, I'll clean it up. I don't care. I got to itch the ride. <laughs> Everybody, I went up there to put gas and everybody's going, well, how's it run? Uh, it sounds great. Idling up the hill, getting gas. So other than that, I have no idea. So a little weird thing, I know some of you guys are like all weirded out about cruise controls. Blows my mind. But this thing, you know, these were these were just auto ship things. They were available. BMW just goes, here. Look at that. Take an F900XR. So they do that. They, there's auto ship bikes, and this is one of them. But uh, anyway, somebody had mentioned that there's no cruise control on there, and I'm like, you know, I said there was things missing. We didn't order these things. We ordered them with all the options that we can put on them, except for specialty things like 719s and stuff like that. We'll order a select number of those throughout the year. But it brings the price up so much, you know, some people just don't see the value in that and it's you know a little hard to sell them and you end up having to practically give them away if they sit for too long which <laughs> i don't know you're buying a very expensive motorcycle 
go ahead and get the cool stuff on there. Unless you don't like the looks of cause some of the 719 covers and stuff, people, it's not their taste, which that's cool. But, um, so I was looking to see, you know, what retro fits um, are missing on these things. There's, you know, there's like, the, the one thing that both of these are missing, the, uh, the Shift Assist Pro, the SAP, is missing on both of them. But I was looking at the R and I'm going, what? And so then I bounce, because you can open up two vehicles at once in air. I'm going slow because of the water. But uh, you can open up two vehicles. So I look at the XR. Oh, man, that was sneaky. I, man, I could have pulled right out. I didn't realize that guy was even sitting there. Lights on and on. I don't see it. Bad motorcycle rider. But get back to the topic here. The R and this XR, I'm looking through the options. I do not see the option for the cruise control. So is it just not listed yet? Or is there something different with the 900s and there will not be a cruise control? What's it going to be, man? That's not good. You know what? That looked pretty cool right there. All right, you guys about to pre-see where the where the thumbnail is going to be for today. I'm going to line her up right here with these here bushes. I'll give you a quick walk around first. Not that, I don't think I've walked around this thing a hundred times here the last couple of days. Why is a side stand little nub different on literally every motorcycle? I think it should be standardized. Oh. No. Yeah, I got some cleaning to do. Yeah, gum it. Sexy. Really, really sexy. I haven't even even nubbed on her a little bit to even get a you know, you don't have to flog something to get a sense that there's a lot of power hiding under the hood. I get people saying, Well you didn't get on it, how do you know? It's a brand new motorcycle. Some guy or gal is going to come in here and take this thing away. Would you want some nub head out here flogging on your bike? Just so you know it doesn't hurt anything. But still, it's the simple fact. Yeah, buddy, that's sexy. That is really, really a good looking front end on it. Everybody's taste is different. That's for sure. I think they're absolutely cool as heck. Have you guys seen the BMW promo videos on them? The guys bombing around. Looks, I think they were in Barcelona or something where they did the shooting. <laughs> Pretty cool. They got the 900 and the, the new redesigned. Although it doesn't have the new RR motor in it though. With the shift cam technology. Gotta save something for later on. <laughs> That is probably that that new motor is probably new enough that it's you know because initially when they designed these things to come out with them there's a huge cost to recover. <laughs> oh yeah. should add some miles on it folks after their big discounts <laughs> it's funny how often you see uh, like expensive cars and stuff in there uh, I said myself they're probably discount food so they can uh, make the payments on that crazy car <laughs> Who knows? That's impressive. That's really impressive. Holy moly. That's nice. God, these motors sound so good. I know the camera picks up 
Makes it sound like it's all clickety clackety. But uh, they're all noisy, but nothing like the camera picks them up. Not even close. Alright, give her a little spray down here. Take my sins off of it. Since I'm going to do that, let's take a little water run with it. I'm about to spray it off anyway, right? Go through the lake. <laughs> kind of shocked me. The steering stop was sooner than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it was like riding a sport bike. Nothing like that, but it, I thought it was going to turn farther than what it did. It surprised me. Alright, let me give her a little spray off. Both the XR and the R have a pretty good lean to the side stand. It's almost like the side stand's like a quarter of an inch too short or something. But that's good. <laughs> Two things that are not going to blow over very... Oh, look, I... The R is the same way. That, that look right there is awesome. Man, that R, you put a tail tidy on that thing and uh, she's going to look pretty angry. Boy, will that thing put a racing stripe on you, though. So give her a light little gentle washing off. Oh, yeah. What's going on, Brian? Oh, I'd say I'd take it for a test ride anyway and got it a little dirty. The new 900 XR. How is it compared to the XR? It's not as powerful as that. This is only a twin. But it runs really strong. <laughs> a little spray down on my beamer. I'll hit them some fancy uh, head pipes there. That'll definitely put off a steam show. Nice, light, easy water. Get the front of the engine there. Yeah, yeah, she's hot. There we are. A little quickie, quickie. There we are. Now my hands wet. I can't get my hand in the glove. <laughs> What's the first thing I could do is ride through a little mud patch here. and slow Ooh, the wet hand in that breeze is cold nice and cold do a little fluff and buff here and should be ready to roll upstairs to the boys and girls Just hear a big bang. You never want to hear a bang in a motorcycle. Oh, it's Genie shutting the lids on the trash can. You never want to hear a bang in a motorcycle shop for obvious <laughs> for obvious reasons. All right. I really like that bike. I like the ergonomics of it. I think super super nice. All right, let me buffer up here a little bit. That 850 GSA, man, that's a good looking bike. Really fun to drive, ride. That's a couple of impressive motorcycles right there.
everybody seems to freak out the most about the R model, though, by far. I mean, they just trip out. That's just amazing. As small as that thing is, the gumption it has. It'd be really nice to ride one once they're broke in, or hopefully we end up with a demo or something, take one home for a weekend. Ah, I would probably ride the XR. Just because of all the freeway running, the fairing and the shield. If I, I want something naked riding, I'll take my whole slim for a ride or my iron or my DR or something like that. That's cool. Well, Mama, uh -huh. if anyone snoozed on those ski do turbo snowmobiles, they lose. You lose. Yep, the last lose. one just got loaded up and went away. Yeah. And things are like 18 or 19 grand a piece. They're buying them up like candy. I know. The first two went to the same guy. He bought two yeah. of them. Isn't that crazy? Man, oh man. When it's, it's good, it's good, yeah. yeah. All right, let's head on to the northbound. I realized the other night, after I said you probably can't hear the frogs over the diesel trucks, you could hear them. Well, through my headphones, I could hear them anyway. But they're out there doing it again. Man, you get these rainy nights and them truckers come pouring in. That thing is all but full out there. That's pretty cool. Well, hello there, YouTube. So we got a little, <laughs> a little wet on the last part of the ride home. Yeah, it got uh, wet. That was all right. Kept getting behind trucks and trucks with trailers, you know, big diesel pickup trucks and big old trailers. Man, it creates such a wide out water. big old dirt tires they have on there. And it's just, it's like riding behind a hydroplane going across the lake or something. Yeah. It's bad. You can't see. Oh, once you wipe it, still, it's just not enough. You can't see. So you got to back off. Hope yeah. they go away. So I finally got the ride. The 900s. Sucker's really impressive. Really impressive. So I'm going to split them up. I'm going to do one on the motor vlog side and then uh, one on this side. I haven't decided which one's going to go where yet. So lots of footage tonight. So, or today for me to work with tonight. So we're going to bail out, make the, make the goodbye short here and get in here and start crunching some video. Oh, righty. <laughs> Is that all you got, That's Grandpa? It. All right. Well, thank Tricky. you guys. Yeah, you did. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Friday or Saturday. Thank you. Thursday or Friday. I'm off a day. Sorry. Yeah, it's hump day yeah. today, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll happen quick enough. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys in the morning. You guys take care. All right. Thanks for watching now. Hope you enjoyed the ride.